Hi, Vogo. Welcome to your May Astrology Horoscope Forecast. Welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, I talk everything around astrology and tarot. Should you require a personal reading, you may write to me at tarotbyanisha at gmail.com. Should you want to know more about my work, you may visit my website tarotbyanisha.com. Virgos, we are in the midst of uh, eclipse season and uh, Jupiter also is changing signs during this time and Jupiter does that once every year and it's an extremely powerful and a very positive time because Jupiter tends to expand everything that it touches so depending as to which part of your chart it's coming and magnifying for you and it's normally all very good um, we also have Mercury in the second half which is going direct so time to start implementing things you'll find that communication gets easier uh, post 15th now what's happening the entire month let me break it down for you on the fifth we have a lunar eclipse that is there in your uh, house of communication uh, your siblings and the community where you live so this entire month there is a focus on your third and your ninth house which are diagonally opposite to each other so uh, travel deepening your spirituality along with learning and also siblings are highlighted for you something is coming to an end for you uh, Virgos it is um, you know a, a time where something is reaching its fruition either a project has got finished maybe you finished learning something maybe uh, some of you have finished a course um, maybe in certain cases it has to do with the sibling whatever it is that your sibling was going through or maybe you was working towards that has got sorted right now uh, this also speaks about deepening our own spirituality so for some of you this may be that uh, you know you've been thinking about uh, you know wanting to maybe learn about uh, um, a, a certain maybe whether it's a breathing technique or it's a mantra or it's uh, you know a prayer and uh, You'll find that now you want to deepen your spirituality, you want to learn more, you want to understand more. And that is something, it's like in, with a full moon, it's like this understanding, acceptance, acknowledgement that you feel, oh, this is what I need to be doing. Or this, I, this is something that I want to do. In certain cases, it will be that for some of you, you will finish doing it. You know, either you are... Um, you're finishing a certain study or if you have been associated with a spiritual uh, body uh, then this is a time that you will be parting ways on the 8th we have Venus and Mars that uh, come together in your house of groups of friends and this is uh, a lovely lovely uh, combination because uh, both uh, Venus and Mars transit whenever they come together they increase our desire to learn more they appreciate the the beauty around our own creative uh, instincts get heightened during this time and uh, also Mars tends to sort of egg us push us more to be more uh, not just uh, aggressive I think but very passionate so we get very passionate about things which are very close to our heart and for you it's lighting up your house of uh, friends these are the people who are your tribe people whom you consider as your uh, soul friends or people with whom you um, share similar goals similar desire and uh, you'll find that uh, you know that you want to either spend more time with them or you are spending time more with them and uh, it, it's just a time where you will in certain cases also be sort of be rekindling an old romance as well um, it's a good time nonetheless to be starting a art project it's a good time for any physical and emotional activity it could be dancing it could be sculpting um, even a routine work around this time will be quite enjoyable for you as you know you will have the drive you'll have the enthusiasm to uh, make things look uh, or work even better also a great time to be hosting a party or a celebration on the 15th we have mercury that goes uh, direct in your house of long distance travel and uh, this is also the house of uh, deepening our or rather expanding our mind and deepening our understanding about different cultures different ethnicities and um, now 
Mercury till about 15th is retrograde in this house. So that means that, you know, anything that needs to get completed should get done now. So you can do some research work regarding uh, maybe your travel that you're planning internationally, you know, figuring out maybe the rules around it, the visa applications. And uh, it can also be that in certain cases, you're having to rework on some paperwork. So fabulous time to be rethinking things, fabulous time to be uh, redoing, re-understanding. It's also a time where you will be very keen to expand your mind, you would want to learn more. And uh, so starting 15th is a time when you can start implementing things. You can start maybe if you want to start something new, maybe you want to start writing a book or launching a book then uh, try and do it in the second half uh, of the month in the first half try and ensure that you're just sort of researching and you're you know really looking at the finer print maybe at the things that are not so visible right now and uh, on the 17th we have jupiter that is joining uh, taurus in again your house of expansion of the mind and travel and on the 19th we have a new moon so this house uh, I mean you have around five planets it's like brightly lit up and uh, you are during this phase are you going to be very you're not going to be concerned about the petty problems that are around whether it's long distance travel you know if enough people are saying oh you're going to be there's so much of paperwork around the visa or it's going to be so difficult for you to be doing a certain thing or learning something you're going to be uh, all right i'll figure it out it'll happen and uh, there could also be a lot of opportunities for you to travel to study expand your horizons meet people who are of diverse backgrounds and uh, also you will tend to become more intellectually curious and academic matters uh, will go well for you as well you're also going to be open to learning about subjects that you know normally you may take very less interest in and uh, furthering your education in any capacity is possible and it is uh, likely to be very successful uh, now and um, success in business is going to be likely through expansion or connection with foreigners during this time also uh, for those of you who are in advertising or who are in events or in any kind of a promotional uh, activity it's going to be a very favorable time for you and um, this in fact i would say if you are not promoting your business this is a fabulous time to be promoting your business as well uh, legal matters could also be especially be favorable for you so if you have been waiting for a certain judgment to be coming by you can be assured that you will be it will be ruled favorably for you and a good time to be um, uh, publishing your books good time to be expanding your audience and getting favorable feedback for your work and uh, especially i would say for educational people who are in the education sector it's a fabulous time to be traveling a lot of opportunities it's a great time also for uh, positive dealing as far as your in-laws are concerned and uh, you are going to be finding that your mind is very um, expansive and it's tolerant and uh, you could be under less stress uh, than usual and also you could be less inclined to sweat over those small stuff uh, your priorities could be very easy for you to see Virgos and you could also be gaining perspective of life and meaning of it uh, you will also find a lot of you that your creative juices are flowing and you're generally I, I would say not just in good physical health but you're also going to be quite um, you know emotionally be in quite a strong place right now and I think faith for a lot of you this month is um, you know going to hold you uh, in good stead you know so you're going to be quite interested in the higher meaning of life and it's going to be not just easing stress but it's going to be opening uh, doors for you as well on the 21st we have mars that moves into your house of behind the scenes and on the 22nd we have sun that's moving into your house of accolades so mars is not too happy in being in this house it's a very private house uh, you know it's a house where we go and recuperate uh, and mars is going to sort of make you quite restless over here maybe for some of you it can be that you know some stuff from the past comes up and there's some amount of anguish or even anger that is there it's a good time to be seeking therapy if there are some 
uh, unresolved issues which still bother you uh, you know it, it could speak about some unresolved psychological patterns i think all of us have those but it's a good time to be seeking therapy and trying to you know um, unravel those and put them to rest once and for all we close the month with sun uh, which is moving into your house of accolades a fabulous time to be uh, I think getting recognition to be getting, uh, you know, be looked upon as an expert in your field. You will find that people are seeking your um, advice. They're looking at you as an expert. And also, I think uh, some amount of good opportunities should come your way as far as work is concerned. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, Virgos. I'll see you again soon. And thank you so much for watching.